Welcome everyone to another Saturday evening, Sunday morning live stream. Sorry, I had to rush and get it. Get some water. All of a sudden, had a dry throat. Well, let's see who's here. We've got. <laughs> he couldn't wait to get started. Lobo One G, opening the door, turning on the lights, and brewing a coffee. Lobo One G is here in the Discord with me for his one-on-one -on -one convoy. You want to say hi? Howdy, Boomer and Chat. And that's what he always says when he gets here. Howdy, Boomer and <laughs> Chat. All right. Pugwash is here. <laughs> Rick Rashid <laughs> trying to play real estate agent on the farm. Um, and then Rob Strecker, a.k.a. Lurch, is here in the Discord to read your chat. If I'm not muted. Yeah, if he's not <laughs> muted or stuff in his face or something because he was eating a minute ago. Uh, <laughs> Fostech TV is here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Phantom 6767. You don't know. What, what is it? To borrow another Star Wars quote, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear up. You don't know how hard I found it to sign your death warrant. Actually, you don't know how hard I, how bad I felt sending that message saying, "Congratulations on or whatever I said on finding your ninth truck in the truck hunt, but you're late." <laughs> it doesn't count. I felt bad, but deadlines are deadlines. Um, let's see. Nicholas is here. Awesome. See, I sent him a message. Did he respond? He did respond. I don't know what it is. I'll look at it later. Uh, and Susan Arthur, we missed you earlier. Well, of course, I didn't stream yesterday, Susan. And we missed you earlier. Um, but you are on time, and I'm glad you're here. Keith Searcy is here. Sandro Gamer. Let's... Let's what? Drink then? Okay. Um, glad you're here. Welcome to the stream. Pugwash is going to have another late night, early morning. <laughs> we are a bad influence on him. Big Dave KF, I haven't seen you in a bit. Big Dave hails from Klamath Falls, Oregon, and that is, of course, modeled in the game. It's not accurate, but none of the places are. But it's there. And Thor! Thor made it. Good to see you, Thor. We missed you last night. Ah, uh, yeah, Thor is hard to get. Thor, yeah, and his truck's hard to find too. <laughs> All right, so what are we up to? You know what? Let me do some shout outs for the flat betters. Uh, Nehi Sniper, our top ATS driver for August. We miss Nehi, he's been busy working. Dusty, a.k.a. Dirty Dog 3436, our top ATS driver for last January. Also a busy working guy. He, he is a truck driver, and his schedule is unique. Isabella Hagloff, pile of row 39. I hope he is lurking. Rob Strecker, a.k.a. Lurch, of course, is here. Bill, Bill Wellburn. Bedrock, our top ATS driver for last February. It's a Nicholas Triple XN is here. Susan Arthur, our top ETS2 driver for last May, is here. XLT588 Gaming. Omega Sunrise, our top ATS driver for January. Silent Dilemma. Norwegian Trucker Nicholas. Big Isle 2424, our top ATS driver for December. Johnny Hansen. Johnny made it to the last stream. I, it's probably not a good time for him. Although he's in the same time zone as Thor and Nicholas. So, Tazimified. It, it'd be crazy to assume he'd be here at 3 a.m. their time. So, Tazimified. Picard Gaming. Another trucker in real life. He's out on the road. I don't know if he gets home on the weekends or not. Lobo 1G, our top ETS2 driver for July of last year, of course, is in this convoy. This, that is not. That's not why he got the convoy. He is the runner-up for March. So he won 
the option of a another truck skin or a convoy if he wanted a convoy. Pugwash is here. Hopefully sipping on some coffee or tea. Purdy the Parrot, Carlin, Wim55, our top ATS driver for March. I don't expect to see him today because, well, it's the middle of the night and he's got some family stuff going on, um, which he talked about, he mentioned in the the earlier live stream. Okay, so what is up with us? We are, oh, I got red bed. I'm gonna, well, we'll grab a copy in a minute. Well, let's see, where are we at on that? Got five minutes, four minutes to get that coffee in, or we'll be late. We have our load. We are in Madrid, Spain. We have a load of reinforcing bars, 24 tons worth, and we're going to take that up to Rene. I hope that's how you pronounce it. So we'll be driving through a fair bit of France. About half France, half Spain, and probably more France. Which means we'll have a lot of tolls. Toll booths. I'm going to grab that coffee right now. Steel bars, yes, almost as valuable as gold. Oh, come on, stay, stay running. Be nice. There we go. Okay. So, um, you know what, Lobo? For those who have not seen your truck skin, why don't you drop your trailer, slide forward a bit, and I will show it off for the audience. Uh, that's good. So it's got this. What is that effect? That is, that... is uh, like a twilight pattern. Okay. Is that part of the skin? That is the skin. Okay. Yes. And you have um, some names on here. You've got your name on the driver's side. And your driver number is 073. And on the passenger side, remind us who Riley is. Riley is my dog that passed away about two and a half years ago that whenever I would sit in the office and I was driving, he I had a little bed sitting right next to me to the right, so kind of like in the passenger seat. And he would just lay there and quote unquote, right along with me. Awesome. And on the back, do we have it? Oh, yes, we've got that. Um, what is that? Lobo. I mean, obviously, it's a wolf or something. Yeah. I remember struggling to come up with that image. Yeah, it took us a while to, <laughs> to find that and determine which one we wanted to use. Right. Well, it's worked out. Okay. Yep. Well, go ahead and, and hook back up, and we'll hit the road. Red football team. So it looks like it's afternoon time, but it doesn't matter. We'll flash the time whenever it's appropriate. Uh, let's see. Susan, most people didn't find everyone. Oh, don't worry about it. Sometimes you just got to sleep in. Ah, I feel better now. And Thor says, nice skin. Thank you, Thor. Alrighty, well, we can get rolling anytime you are ready. Right. We have 1,209 kilometers to go. And I just realized 
I forgot to maximize my other screen over here. I hope all that task switching is not going to mess up my game. Oh, it did make me come out of gear, though. That's not the worst thing that can happen, as you all know. Omega says, looks like a Mac tonight. Kind of background. Love it. Looks like a what? Mac tonight. Kind of background. On the uh, on his uh, truck skin. I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks kind of neat, says, like Starfield. Thor says almost as nice as my skin. <laughs> <laughs> He's not biased at all. Deep left. Tyler Thompson says hi. Welcome, Tyler. Glad you made it. says, hey, long time no see. Yeah, because I don't remember your name. You change it? Wow. Must be long time. And Omega says, looks better than the plain skin I saw you uh, when we met for the first time on a server a while ago. I hear you. Whoa! Well, there goes my score. I just got a ticket. I gotta, I gotta pay attention to all that stuff. Moving left. Olan Lee says, was Omad, Omadept 686 my game name? Uh, no, that didn't ring a bell either. When, when was that? How long has it been? And there goes Rashid trying to uh, sell, or sell farms him again. He is asking Thor if he's doing the hobo. Well, that's not selling a farm. He was trying to recruit Lobo onto Edgewater. Yep. You and 80. That's what I was referring to. Hey, locked in at 80. Finally says last year. Okay. Well, welcome back. I hope you'll come back more often. I'll try to remember your name. Yeah, there's a lot of things I don't remember at my age. I, I have been remembering a lot of the audience members, though. And Casey says he wants to recruit me on Edgewater, too. We thought you'd be all over that. Well, Lonley says, I asked you about how to back a trailer. Okay. And did you master it since then? I do have that video, my tutorial video, or a couple of them actually. Thor says, I saw a video on the upcoming 1.5 beta. Looks promising. Yep. Moving to the right lane for the exit. I haven't watched that, any of those videos. Um, but I've seen them pop up in my stream. 
or my timeline. Turning right. Blindly says, yes, thanks to you. Well, thanks. Susan asks, so is there any point in looking for the trucks that we still need? No, outside of a personal sense of satisfaction. Um, I don't know how much longer that mod's going to be in there. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Well, anyway. Um, Logistics, I think. Yeah. That mod is, is now gone. We'll talk about that another time. But... Um, yeah, the challenge ended today, early, well, earlier today for, for us. Um, it was, it ended at midnight Central European time, which was 3 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. Eastern. Oh, here I am moving pretty quickly. Ryan says, hey, Boomer and Lobo. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. There's Rick trying to sell it. Who wants a farm on Edgewater? <laughs> Only one spot available. Ask Boomer. Don't ask me. Talk to the local real estate agent. Rashid. Big Dave says those steel rods look expensive. I'm sure they are. I'm surprised they don't have a green coating. Victoria Leonardo says hello. Hello. Lonely asks, do you do convoy on steam? Or on a team? What? <laughs> do you do convoy on a team? We have a virtual trucking company. Links in the description below if you have an interest in joining Boomer's Truck NATO Transport. See, that's our truck artwork right there. Okay, I gotta pay attention. Um. We do all of our convoying in the Discord, my Discord server. That's where Lobo, Lurch, and I are at the moment. So we do, we coordinate all of our convoying in there. Where we have all of our activities. ACS. Lobo, do you have a turbo on that truck? You blew off Boomer's door. <laughs> no, but I did bump up the engine. I think I got the 650 horsepower in here right now. Lightweight. I got the 770. Mike Kildare is here and he says, do you, did you hear the new beta for ATS? Oh yeah. <laughs> It is the topic of the week. Um, so, Olin Lee, um, was, was that who was asking about the BTC? Convoy, yeah. Convoy, yeah. Uh, Convoy, okay. They said I streaming Concord. I 
don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so in, in my virtual trucking company, um, we do our best to follow all the rules of the road. We drive like real truckers. The goal is no speeding. I, I just got a speeding ticket too, so. Um, the goal is no speeding, no craziness. We act like real truckers. And a lot of us are actually u utilizing the r hardcore simulation mode in Truckee. And in fact, Lobo and I are using the uh, that hardcore mode. So when I said earlier, there goes my points, I was referring to that. I'm gonna get major points deducted from me because I got a speeding ticket. Because I wasn't paying attention. Speaking of- Lonely says, same here, no mods. Well, we do use mods, but we don't use a lot. I'm going to do some shout outs here. Cody Old, JJ Man 1982, Thor Rasmussen, our top ETS2 driver for April of last year, Ipswich, David H74, Matthew Roth, RD04Dave, our top ATS driver for last March. And Troken, let me put that down before I crash and lose even more points. Mike Kildare says, I named my company name UE Triggers. What, what's the name? You eat tr triggers. That's it right. Speed is 60. Glad you said something. I got the last ticket. Speaking of, Omega says it takes a real boomer to say that he got a speeding ticket. Huh. Yet it's not on the Swifty car. He didn't hit anything. Yep. Swifty, the Swifty counter is for accidents that are my fault. Now Nicholas says add a ticket counter. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff on my screen already. Got me the stream uh, stream elements overlay up at the top. Swifty counter. Oh, okay, Mike Kildare clarified you eat tiger. You what? U E Tiger. Okay. What's the Clive UE Hughes. stand for? Clive Hughes is here. Hey, Clive. High school name. Okay. What's your high school name? Shadow says hi, ma'am. <laughs> hi, Shadow. Welcome to the stream. Lord Dragon says hi, everyone. Hey, Dragon. 
So, Michael, there. It's been a minute, hasn't it? I don't know. I hate to say that because I forget a lot of stuff now. Omega says he needs a popo rotating light for speeding. Somehow, I don't think it'll do me any good. Nicholas said, oh, Dragon just gifted a membership and Rasheed is the winner. Thank you, Dragon, and congratulations to Rick Rasheed. Nicholas says, Ticket counter, Swifty counter, near miss counter, or lots of attention or lots of attention counter, pull up oh, counter. Do about... we have much room? I mean, yeah. do we actually need to see the game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about fall asleep counter? Jesus guy. Good riddance to you. Mike says, UE Tiger School District. Yeah, but what's the UE stand for? Inquiring minds want to know. Rasheed just had a Charlie Fox trot on the farm upside down harvester <laughs> yeah coffee counter whoa I need to union stop tailgating you cot. union and a cot that's interesting. Phantom is going to bed. He says good night all. Good night, Phantom. Thanks for showing up. If you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like. Full boost. And here we go. So I forgot to mention at the at the start that we are, I'm going to be announcing who the winners are for the uh, Euro Truck Truck Hunt Challenge that just concluded today. Left lane three, easy pass. First three people to find all nine trucks win a spot in the an upcoming winner's convoy. And all of the nine people, or not nine, all of the people that have found all nine trucks get a spot, or get entered into a drawing for, ooh, I got a stopped vehicle. Uh, get an in, entered into a drawing for a chance to win a $20 Steam gift card. We've got three of those that we're giving. And we've got seven people eligible, so there's a pretty good chance. Well, there's a 100% chance that three of those seven people are going to win. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, so I'll once we make this delivery, I'll talk about uh, who the winners are. The first three, that is. Bill Dare, uh, what do you mean by that? He said, that's what all of our friends want. She's celebrating 13 months. Yo, yo, happy weekend, y'all, he says. Wow, Rick. 13 months. Epop Propacon is here. Eighty bucks. 
I don't have access to the link. What link? That's what Pilot Bro is asking. Merging left, right lane ends. Oh, a Discord link. It's in the description below. But you gotta have Discord. I mean, you can set up a free account. Adam Buser says I am back. Hey, Adam. Whoa. Low traffic. Ulysses well, welcome S. back, Grant Adam. Here. And Ulysses S. Grant, our newest member in the virtual trucking company, Boomer's Truck NATO Transport, BTC. Moving left. Still got the slow traffic right in front of me. Yeah, I've got his twin brother in front of me. Celebrating 18 months says wow. Oh boy, they're 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 double teaming me back here. Well, Oddly already has a Discord account. Well, then you can join. It is Another free. Is here. Whoa! Says, What's up, folks? Watch out for that guy to your right. Gonna yeah, cut you off. Him. Mike Kildare says, Having fun yet? Dodging cars at toll booths. <laughs> That's the best kind of fun. Just ask Dr. Jones. Grant says, I'm excited to get my head tracker on Wednesday. I decided to get one. Nice. It's awesome to have one. Wolf says, bow them down if they get in the way. Yeah. Yeah, I've already got a speeding ticket, so what's a few crashes? Easy says, Lobo sounds like an airline pilot giving directions to Boomer. And here we have in front of us the slow moving traffic. I am down to 68 um, kilometers per hour. Another, Another toll, toll booth. booth. And. Nicholas says, I need a head tracker. Wow. France. Wolf says speeding ticket, but no Swifty. How's that possible? <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could have been in the far left. Yeah, we're in France. We're coming up into France. Ryan says, how do you get the hardcore boat on Truckee? Well... You have to have an account set up at Truckee, first of all. Join the, our, we got a link to the, our Truckee, uh, our VTC's Truckee account. Whoa. Whoa, stop traffic. Yeah, the car in front of me just spun around 360 degrees. For no apparent reason. Ace, the driver says hi. Hey, Ace. Oh, big truck, where are you going? And Ryan, um, once you get set up on Truckee, then we can get you a link. It's probably posted in Discord. It is, actually. You're in the VTC, so it's in the uh, VTC information forum. And I was going to say, I think Pilot put one in the other day. Yeah. So it's in there. There's It's a link. 
I believe it's a link and it takes you to the Trucky page that explains it all. Omega says, time for a time change. It is. Let's make that happen in three, two, one. Ooh. I get that flash twice. Once on my screen in front of me and another one on my uh, tablet to my left. That's my left. Doing 70 so you can catch up. Yeah, I got a uh, brake checker in front of me. Well, we're going to need to think about stopping for coffee soon. Yeah, I'd say within the hour, game time. Another toll booth coming up. So, Lobo, while we're dodging traffic and toll booths, <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself, where you live, what you do, why, uh, well, we'll just leave it at there for now. Uh, I am, I live in the United States. Um, I'm in the state of Michigan. Another Michigander. And, yep. And I am actually a tier three computer support for the place that I work. Okay. Inland Michigan or UP? I'll, I'll pretend I know what that means because I don't. Um, lower Peninsula. Um, tier 3 computer support. Um, basically, if it comes to me, that's where it stops. Okay. So I better fix it. If I can't fix it, I better find somebody that can. <laughs> but it, yep, we're the kind of the last line of uh, computer IT support. Well, cool. I'm sure Pilot knew the answer to the question. Going back up to 80. I guess he's, he's an office space lover. has been with Boomer's YouTube channel for two years this October. Wow. He says, I say, wreck ban AI cars whoa, for oh, breaking whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, I am wiped out. I see that. I didn't even see you hit anything. I think there's a car that came that tried to merge. Oh, this is not okay. It's not a Swifty Rashid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Swifty him. And it's gonna rain, or it's starting to rain yeah. too. Don't you hit me. Wolf had said earlier they just got their brakes fixed and want everyone to know they work. Well, I'm back on my wheels. But I Rashid. am seriously damaged. Rashid says oh, you yeah. hit the Jersey barrier. I what Jersey barrier? hit the Jersey barrier because you got hit. What I saw. I'm parked over the right up at the toll booth. Okay. For you. I'm rolling That's my through. Story and I'm sticking to it. 
I got pushed into the guardrail. I'm in rough shape. I got stuff grinding. Can you uh, spy a repair shop along the way? Seeing as how you're stopped. The driver says, do you have slash fix in convoy mode or no? Let's see. Gotta go to a shop. The, the real problem though is I got 20% trailer damage. Oh, it's my trailer. 3% cargo damage. The closest one is in uh, Bordeaux. Well, let's pull in here and get a coffee and then I'll plan where I gotta go. Man, this I is... I don't understand why I can't make clips anymore. Who? Nicholas. Yeah, you had that problem earlier too. Says merging AI traffic does not yield. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Now, why is my window open? Oh, bro says I can't make them either. Um, let me check something. I wonder if I've got something set incorrectly for the stream. I don't see anything in here in the customization that would There has been some changes in the settings area recently. Hey, Bad Rock. He says present. Hey, we missed you. Well, I miss you. I don't know about everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Kildare says yesterday I ran into a building in a toll booth in ATS. I've done that. Um, I'm right next to you now. Okay, I am looking at all of the settings. Um, one of the things, I don't think that's related, and that's embedding to allow others to embed your my video in their sites, but that's enabled. Um, I don't see anything in the, in here that would suggest. Nicholas says, but I am now able to make a clip from the replay of the previous stream. Huh. Well, it's weird that you were able to make a clip. What was it last weekend? Um, I guess Omega now. scrubbed back in the. In the stream, it says, so I watched the replay and the car hit you from off an off ramp, which was a Swifty on the car's part. Yeah, off ramp or on ramp? Because I, I think it came, there was an on ramp from my right. And I think that's where it came from. All right, I'm grabbing my coffee. Yeah, my truck is all red. Um, so let me see about finding some place. Yeah, oh. see what you mean about Porto. Nicholas Wait. says, oh, I know why. Why? He will have to expound on that, because that's where he left it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave us hanging, Nicholas. Yeah. 
I, wait, I don't see a shop in Bordeaux. Uh, he says at Pilot Bro refresh. Oh, there it is. Yep. Well, way to the north. Way of it. off the beaten path. Yep. Is there anything on the beaten path? Oh. Wow. Ah, yes. Yeah. Because we they were both here before the stream started. I I hit the refresh now and, and yeah, I see a clip showed up too. Well, what do you know? We all learned something. Okay, yeah, next so one's, next one's up in Low Rochelle. Well, I think the north I, over to the left. Yeah, I need to do it sooner rather than later. So yep. I I've dropped a pin at the shop. Um, at uh, in Bordeaux, so we're gonna, okay. and I, I can lead if necessary. Um, Pilot Bro says, "I'll be back all." Okay. <laughs> Wolf says, "Early birds can't clip." Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. And Nicholas says, "YouTube bugs." I might have to get towed. You're not completely red yet. I couldn't get it to start. Didn't you hear me grinding the engine? No. <laughs> I suppose not. I don't have the stream sound playing while I'm doing this. Right. Yeah, the engine just kept turning and turning and turning. What is that beeping noise? Am I low on air, too? Maybe. All right. I'm going to roll out. That way, when my truck dies, you'll see it because you might run into me if you're too close. All right. I got I'm bad sure. sounds I... coming. Did I hear a crash? I had a crash. Not his fault. Not my fault. Not my fault. That's Not my fault, man. Said. Goes my engine again. My transmission is grinding. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> he says, Tell your truck to hold it together. Yeah, hold it together, man. We got a toll booth coming up. Taking the second from the uh, left. Don't worry, she'll hold together. Hear me, baby, hold together. Oh man, this sounds really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, Lurch, it's probably a good thing you can't hear my stream. <laughs> it sounds like I'm going to drop the transmission any minute. Also sounds like I got an air leak. Oh yeah, Susan, I got ping for it. I got cargo damage. Customer don't care. They want their stuff delivered without the game, damage. The game doesn't doesn't care either. If you get in an accident, you get charged no matter what. Yeah, and that's just not right. Oh, I'm speeding it. Well, I'm speeding, but. Rashid says Boomer loves those guardrails. I got pushed into it. You wait till you get back on your farm. Your tractors are going to all be on your roofs. Oh, yeah, exit here. <laughs> Brian says you need to get the other car to pay the repair bill. Yeah. It should, their insurance should cover it. Oh, there goes the engine again.
Adam and ask, can a load be written off when damaged? Yeah, but that's why you have insurance. In real life. I carried load insurance. Yeah, Susan says no fair. It's not. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Omega says I'll take the Edgewater challenge. Round two. It's not supposed to be that kind of a challenge, but yeah, we can set you up a farm. On second thought, <laughs> the challenge is on us. <laughs> How long before we throw you off the farm? Doom 3 says, miss the crash. Can you reconstruct with another crash after you get your truck fixed? No. Welcome <laughs> to the stream, by the way. Oh, man. Omega says, moo and bah. It says no golf course or you're fine. Gone, then he said. Yeah. No no golf courses, no airstrips. Adam says you need insurance for your truck, trailer, and the load itself. Yeah, we need AI insurance is what we need. Oh man, there we go again. Oh, Thor, you should be so glad you can't hear this. It's, it just sounds bad. Oh. Uh oh. I gotta do shout outs, man. Omega says airstrip. I can't give up on the airstrip. We'll make it a skydiving place, and when you get it built, we'll take you up in a plane, toss you out, and you can skydive. No parachute. Wolf says them VW trucks aren't built tough anymore. <laughs> oh, how far to go? Is that a harvester in front of me? Slow traffic ahead. How did Rasheed oh, get in our convoy? He turned off. He's just <laughs> trying to be a pest. <laughs> Ryan says SCS needs to fix that car merging problem. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just got to be some logic code. Adam yeah, says, I, if it sounds bad, why not switch drivers so he can experience it? <laughs> well, I'm definitely uncovering some, some territory I've never been to before. 50 kilometer speed limit. Casey says, yeah. Boomer reminds me of the car on the movie Cars, saying, don't take me out, coach, I can play. <laughs> and it was a very brief speed, lo speed limit. We've, oh, there we go again. Got a roundabout coming up. We're taking the first exit. And speed drops to 50 again. Oh, Ulysses S. Grant corrected that. Don't take me out of, I can still race. Oh. Well, Lobo, this is supposed to be your convoy. I don't mean to be stealing the show with all my problems. <laughs> You're fine. 
No, I'm not. That's the problem. I am not fine. <laughs> Ryan says maybe Lowo could fix the SCS car merging problem. Hey, yeah. Well, he's an IT tech, not a coder. Well, I, maybe I shouldn't speak for him. I haven't done any coding in years, so you're, you're pretty much you're pretty much right. Okay. Ooh, there is a hidden road coming up that apparently I have found. This uh, shipper on the left, do you show the hidden road associated with it? Uh, I don't see one yet. Okay. Well, I just closer. passed. I just passed the entrance to the hidden road. Yikes. You wanted to take it, it's coming up on your left. Right up there on your left, if you wanted to do it. It just goes into, it's just oh, okay. another way to get into that shipper, and then it comes out the regular entrance. Oh, okay, I see it, yeah. Cool. That'll give you something to do while you're waiting for me to fix my truck. <laughs> Something says, new to watched, explore. He says, I watched cars almost every day when I was younger. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speed limit's 50 up here in town. You're almost to your repairs. Almost. says, will VW make it to the shop? That is the question. That's a Scania, not a VW. You know, when I was a younger guy, I owned a, v a Volkswagen Beetle. I used to drop the engine out of that thing. It seemed like every weekend. I don't know why. I don't remember why I was doing it. I'm sure there was some kind uh... of a problem. He says VW owns Scania. Oh. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm making it. Rashid said Boomer's truck went boom, boom. Yes, it did. Boom, 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 boom. I was on my top. Ooh, we 101,000 euros. Look at that. 53% damage. 15% on the trailer. I think I got a lot of money. But I still and got Wolf. cargo damage. And Wolf says, pack R to the rescue. <laughs> Trade it in for a new DAF. You know, I haven't driven my DAF in a long time. Adam asks, when a wrecker tows a truck, why does the worker remove the drive shaft? Um, because the drive axles, you can go ahead, unless you need to come in here and get repairs. Mm, nope, I'm good. Okay. Um, because the drive axles will continue to turn the drive shaft, which is hard connected to the transmission. And if the engine is not running, oil is not circulating. And if the transmission is spinning, it will dry up and grind to dust. 
That's what a tow truck driver told me. Uh, he didn't use those words exactly. Casey says, the tombstone now reads, here lies the Scania. Time to bring his man out. <laughs> You know, I was, uh, when I was putting together the thumbnail for this live stream announcement, I still had the last photo that I used, or the photo that I used for Lobo's last convoy with me. And I looked at it, I'm like, oh, maybe I could use that. And then I realized that was a man truck, and I'm driving a Scania. I thought, I probably ought not to do that. Especially since we went to all the trouble to get into a server together so I could get a current photo. Yeah, Wolf just explained it pretty much what you said. When the engine isn't running, the transmission oil is not correctly circulating, the drive shaft is removed to prevent damaging the transmission. That's an even better way of saying it than what I said. Adam says, do you know you can drive a modded Freightliner in Peterbilt and ETS? Um, well, we've driven the Peterbilt, haven't we? The 379? Yeah, didn't we drive it in the uh, Sunday Funday convoy? Yeah. Haven't done a Freightliner, I mean, why would I drive a Freightliner all the way over in Europe? I don't want to drive a Freightliner in an in American truck simulator. <laughs> it's okay. It's a good fleet truck, you know? But... I mean, the Kenworth T680 is also a fleet truck. Exit your right. Like the Volvo, the International. Merging left. says, I drove a Pete the other day in ETS from the Quick Drops board. You know what caught my attention with the photo of that that you published or posted? How low the cab of that Peterbilt was in comparison to that, I don't know, probably a Scania that you were next to. I'm like, wow, that thing sits low. Now, of course, it didn't have the, the scoop on the top of the, the roof of the cab. But still, man, it was noticeably lower. So, yeah, do you have any more questions any, anymore? Uh, Ulysses says, there's a company near me that owns a K100. Hogwash says, I thought it was like a toy. Yeah. I Yeah, right, that right there. I, I was amazed at the significant difference between the two truck styles. Moving to the uh, center lane. And Adam says, I drove a Peterbilt in ETS. It was giving me problems, so I removed it. Okay. Maybe you're driving it wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What kind of problems?
I've driven the Peterbilt in Euro truck. Wolf says more aerodynamic. Be more aerodynamic than these cab overs, I guess. Since it sits lower. Well, I wanted to ask Lobo how he got interested in driving virtual trucks. Well, I actually saw ETS, the, uh, the first one, on sale. Um, I was like, ah, that seems interesting. So I got it. I drove it for about five minutes, and I was like, yeah, this won't work. So I was trying to do it with a keyboard and a mouse. Yeah. Um, toll, toll booth coming up. Um, and then shortly after that, I oh, there's e the ETS-2. And I was like, oh, okay, well, let's see what this one's all about. So I got that one. And uh, I started driving around in it, and I was like, oh, I like this one a lot better. And I got a wheel and everything else. And and then I was like, well, this would be a good idea. I might as well get this ATS-1, too, that on here. And because uh, my brother, well, he now he used to drive a truck. Um, he had some medical issues, so he could no longer drive um, drive a truck. But at that time, he was driving a truck, and I got really far into it because I just thought it would be a another level for us to be able to bond at. Thank you, Mr. AI. <laughs> um, but I th just thought it would be a, a another level for us to, you know, have something to talk about and bond a little bit over. And because I kind of uh, my my uh, knowledge of the truck driving world was kind of limited because I used to be I used to be a shipping supervisor. So I knew a little bit, but more on the loading, unloading trucks and things like that, not actually driving them or what it takes to drive them or anything, so. Right. Well, that is interesting. And I, I seem to recall you saying that before. Yep. And before Lurch gets to the questions that are stacking up do you have a preference between ATS or ETS uh, I'm, well this white one is stopped in the traffic and I barely missed that yeah I barely <laughs> missed him and you um, and the guardrail yeah uh, I'm kind of on the fence about that there are certain aspects that I like about both of them um, yeah, but I would probably I would probably have to lean more towards the uh, the Euro truck, just because I like the scenery in it a little better. If you get get into ATS and you get out there, it seems like the it just almost like most of the United States out out that way where they have a lot of the uh, DLCs set up at is all plain. There's nothing there. An ATS. Where you been driving? I think it's pretty accurate. Drive drive I seventy through Colorado. That's impressive. Um, stop traffic left lane. But I guess maybe it could be the the scenery type. Like when you drive um, Interstate 80 through Utah, or 70, 70 through Utah, and you go through certain areas, I mean, it's just, it's, it's desert. It's, some things are featureless, but it has its own unique beauty. And, uh, you know, it's not the Alps, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably it in ATS because I yeah I think that's primarily where I was running back and forth through for a while there it seems like was just you know rocks and dirt and desert and that's all I saw so I was like right. well, what's going on here so yeah that that's the unique scenery <laughs> rocks and dirt um 
But I feel the same way. People ask me a lot, which one's your favorite? And I'm like, I don't really have a favorite. I appreciate both of them. American Truck Simulator. Exit right. Takes me back to the time that I was actually driving over the road in the United States. That's why I get excited about every new DLC because it adds um, to my ability to drive in places I did in real life. The yeah. Euro Truck, like I, the scenery is awesome. I mean, I like green tree, green and trees and stuff. Um, the variety of the different types of driving. Because, you know, in the United States, every state has its own laws, but there is, especially on the interstate freeways, there is a certain consistency that is present in all of the states when you're when you're driving on on uh, the interstate system. Except in Texas. It's a little different in Texas. But... Um, In, in Euro Truck, it's like every doggone country is laid out differently. Like even the toll booths. Like in France, we can take the left two lanes typically, like we just did. Yep. But you get into Italy, and if I'm not mistaken, it switches. It's right, then it's middle, <laughs> then it's right again. Yep. There's There's not a lot of consistency. Yep. Spain's uh, Spain. Their uh, their easy passes are on the right. Uh, Portugal, I think, is a mix where they have a, a few that um, are actual toll booths, but the rest are the little overhang archway things that they put into automatic toll booths. Yeah. Now in the U.S., there are not. There's there's very few toll booths um, because that's why they call them the freeway. But there are some places you do have to stop and pay a toll, like um, Kansas and Oklahoma. Yeah, but we haven't got to Illinois yet. Pretty much everything Illinois and East, there's tolls. Yep. And and uh, but everything out west, like all the current DLCs, it's rare to pay a toll. There are like there's a bridge over the Back Bay near San Francisco that's real I have paid that toll the same amount $25 to as I got to the north traffic right lane they got to the north side of that bridge I'd have to hit that toll booth and pay the toll either directly or they would capture my license plate and then send me a bill now Colorado has a has a toll route uh, Interstate 470, but you have to have their their equivalent to Easy Pass. It's not Easy Pass; it's something else. But you have to have it, or you can't even drive on that road, or you get a nasty fine, from what I hear. So, um, but most of the places you pay tolls. Well, I've run into some toll roads, toll booths in um, the go around Houston, the Beltway of Houston. And then, of course, there is some in Kansas and um, uh, Oklahoma. But most That's of the right. places you go, it's got the uh, the Easy Pass readers or the equivalent of Easy Pass. But I, you run into that more and more as you get farther east. Illinois, Indiana, um, Ohio, New York, That's Pennsylvania. Right. Most of the eastern states... I'll have tolls. Roundabout at the bottom of the hill. But again, most of the time, you just roll through with your transponder, your easy pass. All right. Let's do Sorry. some catch up here. Go ahead. Omega, Omega said, cab over Freightliner Schneider truck is a bad combo. Too much orange. Yeah. 
Adam was describing his troubles with the mod. Sounds like uh, it's glitching, like a missing hood, missing dash, missing bed, and missing wheels. And Wolf said, "Sounds like it was a bad mod." Yeah, you should you should use the one that we list in, uh, for the server occasionally. I don't remember what it is. I don't have it listed in my description below. I don't believe. Oh, it's a res build. That's it. Use that one. It works. Um, there could also be a conflict with another mod. And Adam is wondering, do you also collect diecast truck models? I have a Volvo no. VNL and a DAF. No, I don't collect anything except dust. Um, Roundabout coming up. He said, tell him to go up into Northern California and see the Redwoods. Yeah. There you go, Lobo. Northern California. Both on the I interstate and on the uh, coast highway. I try to avoid California. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I can't drive 55. Yeah. Adam, back to your diecast thing. That's See, here we are shifting right now for the toll. Yep. Um... It actually sounds like a neat idea. I mean, I'm not a collector of anything except dust, like I said. Why did that not go up? If I made it, if I made a mistake. Yep, you'll have to back out and take the one I did. Oh, it says there's an X up there even. I should have seen that. That's a bonehead trucker move, not a Swifty. It's only a Swifty if I back into something. Or hit the uh, the toll booth stuff. Mega, you're gonna have to clarify that. He said uh, he was a lumper leader. Who was that? Mega. Lumper leader. Yeah. Lumpers are people that unload trucks. I to say I-90 to I-25 is impressive. Still waiting for Louisiana. Not going to be impressed with Delaware or Rhode Island or my home state of New Hampshire. I think New Hampshire will be beautiful, but the freeway, Interstate 95, only runs through like, I don't know, 15, 20 miles of New Hampshire. said I just dislike the speed limits in ETS a bit too slow I know yeah. it's realistic but makes it a bit boring I agree on the other hand it makes it a little easier to dodge the AIs if you're going slower well I'm not having much luck today but oh I've fallen a bit behind again Ulysses yep. said Texas highways are like the Audubon, to which uh, Omega responded, it's like that in real life. I should know. Toll booths are back on the left side. Yeah, I like the Texas highways. The thing that, one of the things that's different about the Texas highways um, is that they don't have fences along the edges or the margins of the highway. Every other state does. And that's mostly to keep people from walking onto the highway, but also animals. It doesn't stop all animals. Like, it won't stop deer because they can jump over it mostly. But sometimes, you know, it'll stop smaller animals. Um, but Texas doesn't. Texas is, unless there's ranch land next to the freeway, that it's typically open. It's one of the strangest things I found. The other strange thing that's different in Texas is the frontage roads that they have there. You, ha if you're, if you need to get off on an exit to take to go to go turn right at an upcoming road, 
you gotta get off um, early. Earlier than you would anywhere else. But you'll have to look for a new exit. Yeah, it's not as intuitive in Texas until you get used to it. He said, Tex Express lanes, they toll you by the rate of the traffic on the road. Really? Oh, the express lanes. Okay, I was talking about regular tolls. Unless you mean the expressway around the beltway around Houston. But you don't live in Houston, you live in Dallas area. And I'm not aware of any tolls around the Dallas Fort Worth Metro. That doesn't mean there aren't any, I'm just not aware of any. Adam said, I used to collect trucks a few years ago. Don't know if diecast models are worth anything or hold their value. Look on eBay. Yeah, I guess in retrospect, and if I had the money, I might collect diecast models of trucks. That'd be kind of neat. You know, doing this, I, if I wanted to talk about a particular truck and its its unique characteristics, I could just reach over and pick it up. Much the way I could pick up this coffee mug and tell you about how it's in the merch store. Link in the description below. <laughs> oh! Sorry about that. Oh, I need coffee I again. Ask, should I buy the Logitech G923? Speed limit drops to 70 up here. I recommend it. Um, there's another one that's similar. Um... This one, I think, is for the PS4. There's an Xbox version. I don't remember what its number is, but I do recommend the newer steering wheels. They've got good force feedback. And they work, the 923 works well in, well, it works well in Farming Simulator, but if you're not into that, it's not important. Um, but I know some people have other models of Logitech steering wheels that don't work well in Farm Sim, so that would suggest that they don't work well in other games. So my steering wheel, the 923, link in the description below, <laughs> um, I got a yawn. It works well in ATS, Euro Truck, Farming Simulator, um, Alaskan Road Trucker, and I think that's it that I've tested it with. I don't know if other steering wheels do not work in Alaskan Road Trucker. I didn't ask anybody. Exiting right. Speed limit 50. Adam said, speaking of the Northeast, I-95, uh, Wilmington, Delaware is the biggest city it goes through along with Providence, Rhode Island. In New York area, I-95 goes over the uh, GWC and into the Bronx and into Westchester County, New York before entering Connecticut. Yep. I've driven that route many times. Try to avoid doing it. Try to avoid doing it during the day. Bull says in Texas they make their own exits. Yeah. Because they don't have the fences on the side of the road, you can do that. <laughs> exit right. There are some well-worn paths through the median or the, the fringe grass where people do that a lot.
Megan said, I'm originally from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Live two miles from Kittery, Maine. Then he adds, back in the day, Dallas-Fort Worth Turnpike that linked Fort Worth to Dallas. It's now the Town Landry Freeway, I-30. Okay. Yeah, there was no tolls there when I was driving. But there was in Houston. And there was on Interstate 44 between Oklahoma City and Joplin, Missouri. And that's modeled in the game. I got red bed. I have got to find a place yep. to get a copy. Yep. There's uh, one that we can exit here and go left. Well, says Thrustmaster rules, Logitech drools. That is my opinion. I hear really good things about the uh, Thrustmaster. One of which is that they're more expensive. But I'm I'm hearing that the belt drive is pretty good. Um, you know I know that that mine it is it uses an electronic force back force feedback gear driven, and I do get some rattle, and sometimes it comes through the microphone. And what I hear from Wolf and others is that that's not an issue with their the belt drive on the Thrustmaster. It's getting dark. My eyes are getting full of sand. Ryan has a Moza wheel and he loves it. What is it? Moza wheel? I don't think I've heard of that. I believe that's one of those with uh, direct drive. Okay. Well, the important thing is that you love it. That it works for you. All right, got my copy. Other bro says direct drive can break your arm if you aren't careful. Really? Okay, got my coffee. What time are we looking at here? It's almost 8 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and as soon as I get my truck started back up, I'm gonna flash the time in three, two, one. Well, that wasn't really a flash, but... And he says the, uh, the motors give great, really strong feedback. Lots of torque, huh? Yeah, he's, I don't think he's gonna go. Yeah. Unless you try to pull out, then I'll go. Actually... Just for future reference, I think if you turn off the turn signal, he would have gone. Weird. Even putting on the four-way flashers sometimes gets him to stop. When you don't want him to. Yeah. I did notice, though, that uh, it's kind of handy when you're coming into the toll booth area and can avoid AI running into you if you throw your hazards on. You know, I was wondering why you were putting those on. I thought you were, because sometimes we do that, you know, drivers, we do that um, to let people know that we're slowing abruptly. Which you're kind of doing at a toll booth, but then everybody is. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, we have 52 kilometers to go. And I still have shout outs to do. Uh, I guess. Right, speed limit 70. Down I to guess 50. I could have been doing that while I was waiting my turn. Peanut Cowboy, it says, when does Nebraska get released? You tell us. Everybody wants to know. Sometime this year, I hope. Uh, actually, I, I hope next month. Got no insight outside of just. Well, we got Vigner. <laughs> <laughs> But he pays a, t a lot of attention to the timing of these things. And uh, there is there is a method to what they do as they release their blog posts and, and whatnot. There should be a, a live stream. Right there should be a live stream that they're going to do in the coming weeks that's not too long before they release it or they'll drive through the new territory but the first thing that's coming up is a software update to 1.50 and we think that's going to happen before they release the game or the, the DLC I mean exiting right Adam says, in Kansas City, I see signs for St. Louis and Des Moines. Well, I I would think that those signs were there before. I could be wrong, but I mean, those signs should be there. Regardless of whether or not a DLC is coming out. But I don't know for sure. Oh, another speeding ticket. Oh, my boomer boomer, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Put me to bed and tuck me in. I'm ready for a nap. I guess it's too late for a nap. Fix me a drink. How about that? Well, so that's new to this driving thing? Yeah. I didn't have my head on a swivel. I didn't see that cop. I didn't even know I was speeding. Thank you, thank you, and, thank you. And All that is AIs. how it happens. Is he going to hit me next? He seriously says, going through St. Louis, Missouri scares me. As well it should. In real life. All right, uh, Country Bumpkin Simulation, Justin Burns, Douglas Williams. Wait. Oh. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Or, I guess, left here.
Yamatuchi got nabbed by Nightbot for all caps. Gotta watch it. <clears throat> yeah, Nightbot will get ya. What he said was, I just saw a car hit another car, AI car and the car went flying. Yep. Well, Zamaguchi, welcome to the stream. Turn off your caps lock key. It was funny, though, he said, adds. <laughs> JC Drives, our top ATS or ETS2 driver for March last month. Bruce A. Thomas Berger. Oh, you're done already. Yep. <laughs> Too busy gawking at the, the chat. What? Am I hidden? Oh, no. Oh, I knew those pallets Swifty. were there. That is a Swifty. Oh, and I'm hung up on the pallets. Zamachuchi says, plus I'm new. I didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we talk about it at the beginning of the stream. Wait, is this my first Swifty? Well, we're glad you're here. Okay, well, I'm doing this, satisfactory only. Can you, uh, Lurch, can you tell us how we did on the uh, hardcore scores? Okay. Dazzy291, Lee Jenkins, Doom3, Stobbs, Bogdan BD, Jennifer Roth, Robert Alexander, and Chris T. I'll get some more in a bit. Lobo got a 3.7, 456 hardcore points. Boomer got a 3.1 with 345 hardcore points. I bet you were going to get a better score than that up until that last roundabout. Yeah. Darn AI. Yeah, that get you. <laughs> At least yours didn't flip you on your top. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, that's been a long time since that's happened to me. Let me do some more shout outs here. Oh, we got some uh, some more stuff. Yeah, it's a Swifty Wolf. And Rick. And Mike. Uh, you know, Casey, Interstate 81 is crazy. It's a major truck route that runs up Western Virginia. Um,. It's a major truck route. And then, it, you know, on up into Pennsylvania. Uh, what else we got there? Um, Adam, I can answer that question. 81 is better than 95. But I would not want to take the state highways because I have taken the state highways that run parallel to Interstate 81, and they take longer. Um, how was it that AI cars can rip semis off the tip? I don't know, Rick. Just, yeah, what's wrong with this game? I agree. Okay, Andrew Black, Phantom 6767, Ryan, John the Bricklayer, Lee 01 Mister, Vigner, Hoxson, Gordy Pitzel. We got to do the drawing yet. CJ Johns 31, Oblivion, Keith Searcy. I'm gonna. 
I'll tab out of the game. That. And. Get to this in a minute. David Singh, Wolf Gaming is here. James Brandt, Road Trip Nerd, David C. Poztech TV, is he still here? On the Bricklayers lurking. Dr. Jones, our top ETS2 driver for February. Uh, yeah, this February. Noah Long, RR Hoxson, Stiggy Stiggs122, Dustin Simbro. There he is. Uh, the comment about New York City. Which one? Also, in the New York area, there is an option to haul a New York City subway car, not a sandwich shop, to, uh, into the city only at nighttime and only over the o, over the uh, GWB. Yeah, I think Trucker King has done a New York City run at night one time, and he said he'd never do it again. I avoided, well, I never would have had, I don't think I would have had to go, gone into Manhattan. But there were a lot of loads that I could have booked out onto Long Island, and I just refused to do it. Because I could. Colin Percival, Jose Lima, Karis Lynn, Pancake Man, Ulysses S. Grant, Greg Ulray, Jesse2670, Day and B Travels. You don't know why I'm rattling off all these names. It's because these are channel members. If you'd like your name shouted out during a live stream. Then click that join button down below and select reefer hauler or flatbedder. Robert Quilter, Randy Disher, but even dry van haulers, everybody gets their name on the credits roll at the end. Watching YouTube, Manny Oy, Matthew Walter. I don't always read through them this quickly, but I'm running out of time. FTG Mike B, Fata Belly, Dorhita Rusu. We did have that delay of me having to go get some repairs. Red Car Curtis Gaming, Gordo Norteño, Wyacorn, Tyler Thompson, G-Man, Mr. Jacob Morales, Gaming Cakes, Donald William, Dougie Boy, Claudio Diaz, Florm, Vernon Bunch, Untamed Eagle, Big Toe Magoo, Noah Breeze, Cat Bravo, Big T5280, Gabe, Rock City VR, Veronica Singleton, Miles Dutton, Matrix Racing, Bard Barrel Mark, and I, it's James. Okay, we got them all. So, let's talk about the Euro Truck Challenge Truck Hunt. Let me share my monitor. So here are Wait, no. oh, damn. So FTG might be Oblivion and Pugwash were the first three people to find all nine trucks. So they will be participants, assuming they can make it, in a winner's convoy similar to the one-on-one -on -one convoy we're having right now. They will be um participating in a winner's convoy at a future date. And uh, it can be a little difficult to schedule around everybody. Uh, Mike, remember, where, where does Mike live? Somewhere in the U.S., I think. Bolivian lives in Lithuania, and Pugwash lives in Wales, in the United Kingdom. So um, it can be a little touch uh, difficult to coordinate with everybody. But in addition to the Winner's Convoy winners, we also have JC Drives, Global 1G, Dr. Jones, and Poztech TV, who are going to be in the drawing. So we have seven people in the drawing. And that's whose names are here. Uh, let's see, anything happening in chat? Amatucci is doing ATS California to Maine. You must be doing, um, what is that? It's a series of mods. Yeah, mods. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. Yeah, coast to coast. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. 
from Truck Lobo. Yes, it is. Oh, and you responded. Um, okay, Matthew Roth is here. Just in time, Matthew, for the drawing, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we've got all seven names here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we've got three prizes to give away. The three prizes are, they're all a $20 Steam gift card. So I am going to shuffle the names once, twice, three times, and then I'm going to spin. So pause to, or excuse me, Pug Wash is our first winner. So he's also in the convoy. So he's he's doubly lucky. So we'll remove his name and we'll I shuffle think he again. He deserves it after having such a hard time finding himself. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dr. Jones, too. Boy, I tell you, it was tough. We'll shuffle this once, twice, three times and spin. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> remove and it will shuffle and do one more spin. One, two, Rashid three says times. It's fixed. Uh huh. Oblivion. Mu and Ba. Oh, okay. Well, that is the drawing. So I will be reaching out to those three winners of the drawing to get them their uh, Steam codes. And then I will also be reaching out to um, the others to start coordinating when we're going to have the winner's convoy. So. Maybe next weekend. We'll see what happens. No telling when that's going to be a possibility. Um, let's see. While we're here. Okay, I'm just looking at Truck's book to see how we're doing. All right. Um, I think that's it. I'm tired. Lobo, how you doing? I'm good. Okay. Well, glad we could could put this together for you. And I'm glad we started in Madrid. I'm not a big fan of coming to France, but outside of the the AI cars that took us both out, <laughs> um, it was all right in in France. So not the end of the world. It took took you out. They only damaged yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. It literally took me out. Tossed me onto my top. That's crazy. All right, everybody. And let's see. I think uh, didn't Dragon gift a membership? Yeah, so there's that. Yeah, Rashid. Well, that's right. It was Rashid. Flip is in Discord. Oh, goody. I can relive the experience. <laughs> Oh my god, just like the last one. Of course, he was like, No, that car was always there. You just hit him. And I, I'm like, No way. And I watched the clip, and yeah, he was right. <laughs> he was vindicated. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Uh, Sunday Fun Day Convoy is tomorrow, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central European time. And that's it. We'll see you later.